All right, ladies and gentlemen, it says I, Civil by your host today. I was trying to use a tablet to read my chat, but I seem to have misplaced it. Just my luck, really, lately. So I'm going to go over here and make sure my chat is broadcasting for once. And um, there we go. There we go. Just my luck, really, lately. So we're so going to just mess me really quick. So got my chat right here. So, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to load up a new game of Half-Life, because last time it didn't go so well. We're just going to do medium, like we did. Like we did last time, because this is going to be a brand new run of the game. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This time. automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Like the time up. is... 8.47 a.m. Forget your access card. Current top side temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated oh, high so, uh, of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound. Right, from so it seems level like three dormitories my chat to my sector C like test labs and control facilities. If you are yeah, in the destination, is a high security yeah. beyond sector C. C. Now we're going to come over here to Streamlabs. We're going to turn down the game audio. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retina clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be submitted to a high security branch of the transit system. It is still a touch loud, unfortunately, because it seems that I don't know what I'm doing. So, Due over to here, the high toxicity of material the stream, the handled. chat stream uh, viewer. Uh, I'm trying to adjust my game volume a little bit here. Oh, and I want to do a shout out to Power Lifter Gamer, who uh, last week uh, followed me and didn't get a shout out because I was having some difficulties with my system. So there's the shout out, the proper shout out. All right, so still dropping deeper in a black mesa. Gabe Newell, that troll. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Gabe Newell, to be honest. He promised me a part three of Half-Life Volume 2 and never brought it to me, so fuck that guy. They discovered, I guess, at Valve that it was cheaper to sell people's game than it was to make the games themselves. Okay, so there they are. Don't touch the third rail, that's good life advice, friends. So, beautiful day here in Oregon, as in it's raining. It's been raining for a while, so. Yesterday I did go to the duck game, and I'd like you guys to thank you for hanging out with me. Come back from a long break from streaming, because moving into a house has made things more difficult. So, uh, adjusting to that. Setting up the um, room for the streaming computer. For a second, I thought everyone froze. Nope. A reminder that the Black Mesa has a course. Subject: Gordon Freeman. Will commence this evening. Male, age 27. Education: PhD, MIT, in the theoretical physics. Facility. The semifinals for high school courses. In a separate I'm a research assistant. My assignment: Amolus Materials Laboratory. Three. I'm pretty high level, I think. Do you assuming have a friend or it's not relative three. who would make a valuable Administrative sponsor classified. Disaster response priority discretionary. Materials handling. Means they can save me if they want to, but they don't necessarily have to. Which is depressing, to say the least. Honestly, I wish I could drive that. That looks like it would be fun. Okay. 
chat, so I'm just checking things. One game I will do be wanting to stream once I get to it is um, the new Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. The remake for the Switch. That was one of my first Legend of Zelda game I ever beat, so I'm really looking forward to having a chance to do that again. Is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Well, that is all work good. safe, work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and Thank God. facilities. I'm finally where we need to go. Open the door. But Please until stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Until I'm able to get the train, um, another sure TV in the streaming room. Thank you. I'm going to take a break from the video streaming just because I need to take the time Morning, actually Mr. Freeman. Them. Looks like you're running late. I'm not running late, the train was slow. Stupid walker. Boy. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Sorry, sir, I've got to stay at my post. Can we do this later? Right. Let's do the thing. trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. All right, so the hazard suit it is. The hazard suit is his classic armor he wears. There's the G-Man. of a character. I don't even have a crowbar to hit the window with, that's rude. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. I like how everyone calls me by my full name. Scientist. Oh, Gordon Freeman. You know, Gordon would have been fine. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. I'm not authorized, but I'm I'm the goddamn one free man. I mean, come on. Let's not be rude. But if you're my YouTube audience catching this, welcome. Um, it has been a while since I posted a new video. You were supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago. Most um, of the simulation results are perfect. But I will definitely be posting this on there. Yeah, make sure you guys check it out. Oh. Uh -huh. Hello. I, lo I always like the hello in this. It always sounds like really, really kind Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Hello. Ah, here's my Havoc suit. Damn it, Fred. I pushed the button to let me in. First time I played this game, I had a copy of the, the box set I bought from Walmart, and I didn't realize you had to stick the disc in it to play the music. So I thought the whole game didn't even have music. So. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Go with the music. 
All right. Through the airlock. Interesting to have an entire hydroelectric dam powering your facility. Quite impressive that one. Hit the button. Gotta go down the hole. Gotta go down the hole. Gotta go down the hole. I'll only be streaming about two hours tonight, like last week. Mostly because I want to spend some time with my wife before she goes to bed. But my favorite human in the world. Water pipe. Probably a coolant system of some sort. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. That is sound almost all. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Oh well. What do I know? I just work here. It's about to go critical. That looks. That shit looks expensive. Like that looks like it was really expensive, really bad thing to damage. Probably don't want to do that. Let's go back to the chat where I was. Just trying to verify to make sure I'm still online. Last week. I played this game for two hours and none of it actually went on the internet, so it, it was so bad that Twitch even deleted the VOD, so just trying to make sure. Um, if you are one of my YouTube audiences, you'll notice, hopefully, that I have cut off the first five minutes of the load time and put a slight, a small intro video because I got tired of the five minute late reback. will be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Hey, Pink Rose. How you doing? Although I will admit that it the has been the a test while. Is I doesn't need to hear all just moved into a house, so... We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. This is like the first time. Uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, well, well Pink, go it's good to know that I was missed by somebody, actually. I was... Kind of wondered if anyone really noticed I hadn't streamed in a while. But, uh, my wife and I got a house recently, so we've been spending the last couple weeks getting everything set up. I have an office now for streaming, so there'll no more, be no more random people walking through the background. Which will be nice. Um, eventually I'm playing a game green screen, but it's a few weeks down the hole. For a moment. I never beat Perfect Dark. I got stuck on one fifty past it. If you would be so good at climbing, start to roll up this, we can break the attack of spectrometer 80%. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I was thinking once I got a TV for my streaming room, a second TV for so I can have like an actual monitor for video games. I would uh, start Perfect Dark back up, Pro, but probably go down a difficulty level, to be honest. Um, I do plan on beating it, though, but this is, for now, I'm just playing computer games, so I'll go back to Perfect Dark someday. How have you been? That looks good. All shiny, all shiny and new. I'm gonna just hide right here. Just hide a little. Yeah, 
yeah, and sometimes um, my my new job. I got a new job a while ago, and uh, just one from talking. So you want to move from Hong Kong to LA? That's pretty cool. Got to be a big move though to move. You, you were living in Hong Kong, right? I'm remembering that properly, right? So moving to LA though, moving at, to a big city is always a big, big deal. Yeah. It'd be quite an adventure to move not only to a different city but to an entire different country. Oh shit! Oh, they're dead. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, I'm a hide. I'm a hide. That's, it'll be fine, right? Like, there's a damn alien fell out of the sky. Alien's falling out of the sky, guys. I did not see that last week. Ah! It's not a good idea for Americans to go to China right now. <laughs> Wait, they did a PS2 version of Half-Life? I remember they did a PS2 version of Half-Life 2. I didn't realize they did a PlayStation 2 version of Half-Life. That's kind of awesome. Head crap. Yeah, this is a game actually, it's subtype. Is I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard. I'm afraid you're moving. All our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retina scanner. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. I know, like, it's weird that Twitch, Twitch considers this to be a horror game, which I think is fascinating. Of course, I actually played Resident Evil 7 VR, so my uh, concept of, jump, of horror jump scares is a little bit skewed. But uh, check out that on my YouTube channel. Oh, nope, oh, nope, not doing it. Nope, 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 nope. Hell no, nope. Come on, check out that playlist. Oh, look, the door's open. Oh. One, two, a three. Ah. I live. See, last time I went through that, that chamber killed me like three times. Because I didn't realize it blew open the door. Oh, shit. Head crap. Head crap. Ole! You're up, bastard. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, man. I don't want to die. No pew pew with the laser beams. Aha, now I can defend myself. 
myself. I love how... Yeah, this game can get me down to I like how you swing the crowbar really slow when you're not hitting anything. But the second you start hitting something, you're like, Bruce Lee all of a sudden? I don't, I don't quite understand. I go from ha, ha to... I, I, don't, I don't get it. Ah. Uh, I think the elevator's out. Just, just saying. I think the elevator's out. Ladder down. Actually, I'm gonna take the ladder down because if I remember correctly. Hey, Ashmander. It has it has been a minute. I, uh, my wife and I moved into a new house, so uh, we I haven't had time to stream or had the ability to set it up. Well, with a new job, it's been it's been a bit crazy, my friend. How you been? Oh, that's just the cord. Yeah, thanks, man. It, it's it's been it's been stressful. Honestly, sometimes I miss my apartment. If something's going wrong, we call somebody. Oh shit! Ah shit! Okay, that was close. I fucking almost died. New job, new house, new me. I wouldn't say it's a new me, cause I'm still much of a smart ass. But. Oh, hi! Hello, friend! But, I'm working on the stream, too, trying to make things better. Still rocking the, the long walks, of course. Just fucking die, you stupid. What have you been up to, Ash? I actually didn't mean to immediately start shooting a gun. I prefer the crowbar effect. Played a little bit of Dark Souls, played a lot of it of Dark Souls, you learn to duck, dodge, smack something with a crowbar, dodge back, you can't touch me, bitch. Can't touch me, bitch. It is definitely good to see you again, Ash. It's, it's, I, I've actually missed streaming a lot, actually. Because it's been a lot of fun. Ooh, adopted a new kitty. Just like my wife sent me a message, and you know how it is. Gotta keep the way. Adopted a new kitty, though. I, I do love cats. Cats, dogs, anything. Basically, I like any animal that has less than eight legs. Although, if I have something with six, it's usually being fed to something with four. Like when I had a bearded dragon, but... I, uh... Hopefully, I'm hoping I can get a dog. My wife and I talked about getting a dog for the last couple of years, but she always said, hey, it's got to be a house for so... Ouch, the ice stuff. I'm hoping, eventually. <laughs> I think a cat with six legs is called the Displacer Beast, and I'm like 95%, and that's definitely a monster in D&D that's evil. So, like, I'd be down for that, honestly. Totally down with that. Or get, like, a horse with uh, eight legs, like, um, I can't remember the name of the horse from uh, Norse Myth, Odin Rides. I'd be cool with that. That'd be the only eight-legged like, critter I think I could deal with, though. Would it be scary? A little. But... Terrible? No. Nay. Nay would not be. Man, if someone blew up someone's fucking ramen noodles. This is just a terrible waste of ramen noodles. Oops, not what I meant to do. I'll just swap to this. Oh look! Bullets! Alright, so there's that. But I, um, I did have a name time. used to be Ashman Reborn. Shaman Reborn. Yeah, you're the, um... I do remember. Were you the guy from the Middle East? I can't quite remember. I'm honestly not really that great with names, but uh, I, I I definitely like chatting with like everybody. Okay. Oh, see, see, I remember things. 
Oh yeah, go Simu, go Simu. It's your birthday. Not really my birthday, it was a couple months ago, but yeah. Alright, loading. Oh, I was hoping there'd be something up there. Nope, I'm not dealing with exploding vents. Fuck that. Okay, sorry about that. Hey, look, lights! Lights on? Oh, I can't shut them off. Oh, great. Whoa, what the hell just exploded? Alright, let's go through the vent. Oh, bad! Oh, shit! That was rude. Just like, out of nowhere, just fucking die. So now I know, do not walk in there until it's done exploding, or however that's supposed to work. <laughs> you did, Pink Rose, you did tell me there was indeed jump scares. Haha! -ha! Dick. Eat shit. Also, there's some insta kills in here, so. Whoa! Oh, no, no, no. I understand anxiety, I have a bunch of friends that have anxiety issues, so that's, that's definitely something I can understand. And online, I I, real, I try to be polite, not like uh, call anyone out or make anyone feel uncomfortable. There's enough of that crap going on in the real world. Oh, look. Damn. Oh, good job, Mr. Scientist. Oh, oh, nope, oh. That's rough. That's a rough day. You know, that looks like it'd be a very painful process there. Mutation, but you know what? He just sitting in the chair chilling. So much smarter. Aha. Hey, you know the best thing about miss? I I see you miss. This is one of the games you missed the hype train on. But you know what's great about missing the hype train on a game? You can go back at your own leisure and re-experience it how you want to experience it. Um, the first time I played this game was in college. I bought a pack of um, this game, Blue Shift, and the um, it came with the other DLCs or expansions of the game. And it was way after people started playing it and talked about how great it was. I just bought it at Walmart randomly and played it. But I bought the Steam version that I'm currently playing a couple, uh, a couple, like, last year or something. So, um, that's how I'm currently playing it. But anytime there's a game you've heard about you want to play, go out and play it. And granted, nothing beats being on the for forefront of a game, like, right when it comes out, but, like, I'm a man with a collection of a large number of games like if you look behind me I don't know if you can see all of them but that's most of my collection of games and there's a lot as you can tell there's a lot in there from um, NES Super NES GameCube I have every Nintendo console but some Game Boy games in there and what you do is like you there's an old game you heard about that you never got to play and you wanted to play just go get it. Go play it. Sure, it's not like you can't go to the office and discuss about how great it was. And like, oh yeah, dude, I haven't gotten that part. Have you been this far yet? But, but a game is definitely, it's definitely, I play the games to enjoy them. And you know what? Just because you missed it doesn't mean you have to hate on it. I mean, not hate on it, but like be disappointed. Besides, there's plenty of people that haven't gotten the experience at all. So, oh, you little rock box. Anyways, so never hurts to go back and re-experience something. That, and especially since it's uh, the reason why I have such a large game collection is sometimes I want to go back and re-experience something I played when I was younger. So, um, if actually if you watch my Dino Crisis series. 
at the end of it, I had never beat, gotten to beat it before. I was got stuck in the- Oh, hello! Hello, friend! I was got stuck in the same part, so... I actually went back and beat it, and I was really proud of myself, and that was one of those things that I just did because I couldn't. Get out of this yeah, uh, see you later, dude. Enjoy your night at work. I'll have to hang out again sometime. Oh, I forgot you just tap the Q buttons. Quick swap. Yo, fuck you. Take back a dick's hurt. Come on, Mr. Scientist, it's time for you to heal me. Yeah. Oh, you've been wounded. Let's try this. I like how everyone just carries health in their back pocket. Looks like you've been wounded. Here, try this. It's untested, but we'll see if it heals you. You never know, you could just die. And that, my friend, is how you club the shit out of something. Wait. Oh my god, I didn't know you could bring the scientists to different rooms like that. And fuck. Oh my fucking god. I have learned a thing, friends. A thing I did not know. But a thing that makes me happy nonetheless. Technically, I'm the one responsible for this mess. I prefer if you didn't bring it up. Gosh. Call me out and shit. Alright, so we're gonna run back this way. Sir Scientist has left us. That's fine, I don't need him. Okay, so we're just gonna sprint through here. Nope, we're gonna go this way. Let me know, um, guys, if you start to get a little bit sick to your stomach, because I whip the camera around a lot. I know my wife sometimes gets sick to her stomach while watching stuff like that, so. That takes care of him. Head crab, where'd it go? Good. You know, if you would just let me in the hole. I'm gonna go Bruce Lee on it. What the, 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 the? Okay, there's nothing else down here that's gonna bite my ass. At least I don't have to be there for like the whole animation. Get out of get get out of the damn okay there we go. Alright. Moving along. Caution. Four bullets. 134 rounds. I'm getting up there guys in the bullet department. Right. Pull the lever cronk. Hey, friends! How to make friends, Gordon Freeman style. You gotta be careful. This game's a little bit slidey when it comes to dropping off legends. Where'd he go? Okay, he did. Whoa! What is this? Is head crab slide? You know, that's just weird. Wee thing. Done. Okay. I mean, I've heard it's raining men, but it's raining head crabs again. Which is not as hey, fuck you. Not as catchy.
Alright, so we'll do the thing. So, Pink, are you still there? Have you started streaming again yourself? I haven't been on Twitch much, so I don't know if you started streaming. I just missed my chance to mod. I don't know what the hell happened with him, but okay. You need a layout? Like you need a new computer or you need someone to help you set up OBS? OBS layouts are actually, um, they they can be a little bit hinky to get working, but what I do is I, uh, oh yeah, I gotta watch out for that. What I did was I used one of their default layouts, and then what you do is you go through and you start, um, modifying it yourself to how you want it to be. And what I've also done is I've done I've done a lot of different profiles. You can um, do a variety of them. So like in my case, I have one for uh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. Anyways, as I was saying, I have um, one profile that I've created just for the retro games. It's got the, squ the uh, square aspect ratio. But, uh, it can be a little bit complicated, but there's a, what I did was there's a lot of really good tutorials on So I would just, I would just look at the fuck a little around a little bit on the internet. And that'll help you find, um, help you set it up. Of course, and part of it also is a hardware issue. There's not much you can do. I, I don't know how I... I mean, you would just have to buy new hardware at that point, but I also realized that the touch easier said than done in a lot of cases. Like, just recently in the house, um, I was initially just using a Wi Fi router, um, wireless Wi Fi router to connect to the internet. Well, I try to play Apex Legends on the computer because it's free and my brother and I like to play games together sometimes. Um, so I figured that would be one better than Fortnite. I'm, I'm really not good at Fortnite. And uh, anyways, I started having lag issues with it, so I was worried that it was a CPU thing. But I'm going to find out it's not. It's just shitty internet connection. You know, honestly, I would not be sticking my head under the water. It looks nasty. Yay, more health! Um, for you, those of you who are real big Half-Life fans, there's a, um... People online who are trying to make a, uh... Batteries for cell phones, like battery chargers, like the external batteries, or just a little station you hook your phone up to instead of a power cord. And they're designed to look like the HEV recharge stations in this game. Ow, ow, what the fuck? And uh, Half-Life slash Half-Life 2, so. It's kind of one of those, I like to have things that look like video game things. So you can always check that out. I think it's the Indiegogo campaign right now. And, uh, it's not very, the item itself is not very expensive. From what I read online, it was just expensive enough, to just enough money to cover the expenses of creating, and not to really make any profit. They just wanted to have some fun with something, so. Check it out if you'd like. It would be something I would check out normally, but my money's a little tight with my new job, so. I'm gonna check it out. But... What? God, I hate how, like, slick the, the ground is in this game. Come on, open the door. Clear. Corner clear. Let's just go to the corners. Although, one thing I do find interesting about this game is that there's no reticle that shows you exactly how accurate your game is. 
I forget that that's a more modern addition to video games than what we have in the center of the screen now. That used to be at one point where, uh, hell, I remember before video games even had that, like, sight in the middle. It was, uh, simply, like, Doom. It was just you. As long as somebody was in yeah. the center of the screen, you could shoot them. So. I'm gonna just take that charge back, but you clearly don't need it anymore. I'm not sure who was talking to me. That was fucking terrifying. Nope, I don't want it. I'm not going that way. Alright, so always periodically I'll just switch to my gun to make sure nothing needs to be reloaded. Okay, so that looks like the way we're supposed to go. So let's go back this way. Okay, so I can't go this way until the power's been cut. I can smoosh the bugs! Smooshing the bugs. Clearly. Clearly an advanced game if I can smoosh the bugs with a crowbar. Honestly, I'm not sure how easy it would be to smack a bug with a crowbar swinging at that name fast. Seems like it'd be difficult. Everyone's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Sorry, friend. You can hope for that, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Such things could be. We're just gonna. See this. I'll make sure to take those out. So there's nothing to chaos here. So that uh, if I bring him out with me, he doesn't get immediately eaten. Because as I discovered by accident, you can actually use them to open doors you couldn't access otherwise. Oh, come on. Anybody else here? Okay, good investment of bullets. When there, you know there's a couple of mags in there, it only takes... Four bullets to bring down your enemies. You get 17 bullets. I mean, not 17, you know, 34 bullets. It's a good math. Good mathematics there. With my brain and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. See, one of the favorite things about this game is how Listen, cheesy this is. What do you mean, as far as you can? Motherfucker. Well, I can oblige a scientist. Alright, looks like he's coming with me this time around. Come on, Mr. Scientist. We go for glory. All these shenanigans. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Motherfucker, I am your colleagues. The best colleague you're gonna get. I just like shooting those things. Honestly. Fall damage wasn't a thing, I'd let them try to eat me and then beat them with a fucking crowbar. But no, fall damage is a thing here. Okay, that took me a little bit longer than I should have. Oh, quit your bitching. Another bad deadhead crab. You know, I'm not sure why I came in with that. Probably not a good idea. Oh! Oh! Okay, there we go. Oh, great. Throw a fly. Oh, really? Am I gonna have to go through the zappy room? Oh, wait, no. Oh, hi! Hello, friend! There. Got him. Oh, come on. Door opens. Yeah, but I don't... I did... Pink, were you around when I did my Resident Evil 7 VR stream? Were you... Or did you watch that stream, or...? Okay, 
Okay, well then, here's a funny fact about that stream, right? I discovered that every time something popped out of nowhere and attacked me and scared the shit out of me, I immediately shot it in the face. Every time, shot in the face. But, for some reason, half the time when I would take the time to aim, I'd miss. It was the most aggravating habit in the world. Also kind of funny. If you ever want to check it out, it is on YouTube. There was a uh, section that I wasn't broadcasting like I thought I was, but yeah, it's a fun it's a fun thing to watch if you're into the horror, hey, Gordon. or you d don't let it freak you out. It's a basically. Oh no! We're, no, we're not gonna let him die. We're gonna elapse time. Timestamp. What's the timestamp? What's the date today? 15th. 826. I love the last auto save. Oh, that was a little bit further back than I wanted it to be. That's fine. I can reopen the store. Give me a sec. I'm getting you, motherfucker. Come on. Let's go do the thing. But basically, if you ever get, uh, to anyone who gets PlayStation VR, I always 100% suggest Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Because, my gods, that game is amazing. Alright, dude, come on, here's the door. Here's, here's the beat down. Dude, I fought Dark Souls monsters faster. I'm not scared of you. Right, more bullets. I remember, Pink, you said you weren't much of a horror person, right? Cover me. I mean, she's coming with me. Oh, the bullets. Man, you see that shot? I see that shot, sir. It was glorious. Last time I was here, there was a thing I was trying to figure out how to do. Can I jump in the vent? Nope. Okay. It's a black background, which I can't go in there. Come on, friend. Trying to figure out how to get through here without taking an absurd amount of damage. Aha! I mean, the room's still flooding, but hey. 
I'm not getting electrocuted. And that, my friend, is always a good day. Of course, the, the door's still jammed. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you, too! Ah! Why the fuck is this around this goddamn vent? I just wanna fuck- WHOA! That's fucking terrible. Okay, alright, that's my bad. I should have hurt the fan. Ah. Go on, friend. There's glory to be had. Today we fight the alien oppressors. What? How did you still hit me that from that far? That is horse shit. Here we go. Uh, sometimes it's a bit difficult leaving NPCs around. I'll stay here and guard this area. You will stay there and guard that area, sir. That's what I was telling you to do. Oh, Pink Rose, something you might find entertaining. Um, the, uh, the other day I looked at my, uh, most watched videos on YouTube. And surprisingly enough, it is the Scooby-Doo game that you join the stream on. So, it's like my most watched video, and it's got the most amount of time watched on average. Seven minutes, last I checked. Oh, nope, going to it. Eat shit. Yeah, fuck headcrab, right? Honestly, uh, one of my favorite parts in Half-Life, uh, one was the, uh, the part where you actually, uh, Ravenloft, that was the name of it. When you, uh, damn it, I can't get back up there. Oh, no, no, oh, sh fucking shit! Holy shit! Yeah, only in a video game can you accidentally throw a hand grenade to yourself. Embarrassing, yes. <laughs> yeah, nothing says jump scare like, oh shit, live hand grenade. Shall run like hell indeed, sir. Ah, oh, fucking sh shit! Sir, you do not die. Oh, oh, the fucking... <laughs> not shit I can do for those guys. Now, 
now he yells open fire. Fire is open up the Oh! Ole! Don't run in there, friend! Alright, so it looks like we live! Teeth on that motherfucker. Woo wee. Woo wee indeed. I like how my my alternate fire is just me just unloading a magazine quickly so I can effectively pull the trigger. Makes life easier. It's like when a bunch of Borgonauts show up, you're like, oh look, death! Death rains from my pistol. No, <laughs> fucking shoots it out of here. All right, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Move, move, jackass. All right. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna search this area. Just one more fit. We go this place. Nothing here. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck up whoever else is next. Yep. All that target range time. Let's go, friends. You are going to have to leave me here, Jordan. Let's go. No, your bitch ass is coming. Both of you. We're gonna have a party. Oh, no, 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 That'll do it. Nothing says fuck you like a hand grenade. No, I mean a rocket launcher. Yeah. Why am I leaving here? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. No, I'll wait here. Okay. We might live longer. We'll live together. Maybe we might. I don't know. I thought a machine gun would pretty well do it. I don't suppose you would reconsider. Okay, I'll okay, I'll let's get the hell out of here. We're getting the hell out of here, so let's go. Oh. Worth it. Oh. Why did he just whimper like he was in pain? Like, dude, the machine gun's dead. That was nothing here. Oh, 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 oh! You killed my friend! My name is Gordon Freeman. You killed my friend. I'll wait right here. Lead the way. Honestly, that guy took a whole fuck ton of damage anyways. So like more Besides, so, look, I replaced him already. My goodness. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get top side. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Yeah, let's go. Anyone ever play? I'm going to stay here and wait for my cut. Anyone here ever play? Uh, Counter Strike, classic Counter Strike. And the voice was like, "Okay, let's go." And everyone trying to save a hostage. So I can't go through that door at all. Hey, where'd my cop friend go? He die already. Nope, they got stuck on the fucking doorway. They get stuck on the doorway a lot. I've noticed. Oh. You're right. It's fine. You, you stay there. I'll get this guy. Come on, friend. Take us to the door. 
Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Okay, there we go. Got him past it. The problem with this game sometimes is the uh, pathfinding is a bit atrocious. Hey, Twisted Bunny, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the show. No, I'm not reconsidering, sir. Thanks for the good old fashioned follow. Feel free to say hi in the chat if you like. Fuck you! Stupid fucking head crab. Anyways, a little bit of rage. Just a little bit of rage. Alright, we're gonna go this way, I think. Alright, Pink, you have yourself a good night. I'll see you later. I'll probably be streaming Sunday next week. So feel free to jump in then. Get a little bit of Half Life going on. The plans for the channel as it stands is after this, I'm going to, uh, after I beat original Half-Life, I'm going to go on the DLCs too. Why don't you ever heal me when I want you to? We didn't left there. Fuck off, sir. Alright, so, once more, through the ventilation shafts. Because we're trying to get over there on that thing. Because it'll get me across the hole to the other side. Everything's loaded. Shields. Yoss, shields. You know, I've yet to run and get to a point where I get enough fucking shields. Okay, we're gonna keep the gun out because shit likes a little bit vent. See, that's rude. I, just, I wanna get the vent. Alright, let's go. game, but whatever. What am I to, who am I to judge? Like, seriously. Oops, that was not the droid I'm looking for. Oh, look. Box of ammo and a couple of magazines right by a giant tongue. Oh, the bastard actually bit me. I think it's the first time I've taken damage from all these Oh, look. Spinal column. 
thought that was a health pack or a gun attack. It's not. Alright, seriously? Yeah, it's just gonna take the whole space, that's fine. Shit. Sometimes I forget this game's default speed is full fucking goddammit run. So like I'll be playing along and then I'm just like, oh there you go. Hit the space bar, that'll slow me down. Fuck! Alright. No one saw that, right? Nobody nobody saw that. Okay. Up to man. Hop again. No crouch so I can actually get in the hole. I'm gonna salt snake this bitch. Also a big Metal Gear Solid fan. You can tell by the snake this bitch that comment, but You know, fuck it. I'm getting tired of your shit, guys. Real sick of your shit. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. Are you my friend now? See, you smash all the crates, sometimes there's uh, shields in them. Sometimes there's monsters in them. Thank God, finally, a scientist who actually fucking heals me. I guess I have to have below half health or something. Ridiculous. You're going to have to be here, boy. Ow! I don't want to leave you there. I want you to follow me and heal me. Yeah. There we go. I like how their pathfinding is so terrible. They can't get up the stairs without getting pissed. You. Ah, oh, the G-Man, the enigma in this game. Hello there. Dives through the window. Hello there. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot he can shoot me. I like how my ally can just shoot me in the back of the fucking head. It's terrible. I hate it. Okay, I thought I could break the door now. I hope I could break the door now. That'd be fun. Yes, health packs. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Of course, the door won't open. That's why the guy dove through it. I think this part killed me a whole bunch. Last time I went through this part. So, um, don't know if you know this, but, uh, last week, I attempted, uh, I attempted to play the game, but for some reason, something happened to my system, I'm dead, where, uh, nothing broadcast. I said I was live, but didn't broadcast anything. People could look at the stream, but they couldn't see anything. And then when I went back to go see, like, you know, watch the VOD to see what happened, there was nothing there to see. So, like, I have played this game relatively recently in this part, but most of it, no. But it is, it has been fun. Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. Honestly, I wish these security guys carried armor packs.
It's fucking terrible. Anyways, let's go do this thing. Once more into the breach. Let that guy do all the, do his part of the job. Get out! Get, get out! Fuck it! I just hate when an NPC blocks you into a room. It's like, that's why sometimes I like games like Overwatch, because it's like, nothing sucks worse than a friendly fire in a game. Except when your, your allies can get in your way. But it's when it sucks much better. I mean, much worse. Shit! I think I, I think he's coded to die. Like it doesn't matter how close to him I get, he dies every time. There's probably a trigger in the air for his particular death, which would be a terrible way to go, honestly. Like falling down a ventilation shaft. I mean, an elevator shaft sounds fucking terrifying. <laughs> Doomed yet, friend? I am here to save the day. Don't worry, I am here. I'm no All Might, but I can pretend to be one on TV. There's no reason to fear. I am here. Better than. Oh, shit. Alternate fire in this game fires two shells with the shotgun. Which is very effective for killing for us. Did damage to my shields, that's rude. You know, I have a crowbar in this game. Why can't I use it to open things? That's my question. If I have a crowbar, I should be allowed to, I don't know, I'll try to pry a fucking door open. Like, maybe click a button real quick. Like, click, 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 boom. But, no. That makes too much sense. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh, search and destroy. That sounds fun. Oh. Bird 
you're not blaming both sides. It's rude to shoot people back like that, sir. I'm the hero, don't you know you're not supposed to shoot the hero? Chat, Twisted Bunny. I uh, I had Half Life Two on the Xbox. I did not have Half Life One on it. I didn't realize there was a Half Life One version of it, the Xbox game. So interesting to know. It's also why I decided to do it as Retro Sunday because this game is old as shit. So old, see, that guy doesn't miss when I dodge. It's rude. Oh. Oh, I forgot I could pick things up with the... Fascinating. Doesn't help me much, but eh, it's gonna be fun. Do you have good memories of playing this game, uh, Twisted Bunny? Machine gun and a head crap. What was that? Infinite enemy spawn? I hate infinite enemy spawn. Nothing says fuck you like enemies that just keep respawning in the same spot. Oh hell no. Good things just are bombs, man. That's fucking terrible. sucks about this game in water. I don't know if you remember this twisted, but uh, you slide like a bubble. Quick carry. I remember Enter the Matrix. Although, the, uh, the Path of Neo was a different one, I think. Dude, you're glitched. He's a dead man. Feel bad for him, but I didn't want him to die. I remember Into the Matrix, though, when you played as, um... God. Tr it wasn't Trinity. It was, like, this other chick and the black dude. I, uh... I, I, my brother and I played the shit out of the game. The most awkward part about that game was the climb animation. It looked hella awkward. Like, they had, like... They did well with all the kung fu scenes and everything else. But it was like they forgot how people climb ladders? I wasn't sure what was going on with that, but... I also was a really big fan of the hacking thing that you could use for the codes. That was fucking tight. Fuck yeah, 100%, man. I haven't had 100% anything in a while. The last boss was made. Wasn't the last boss one of those, uh, Sentinels? No, thank God I'm here, sir. I just saved your ass. Stupidly, oh, stupid over trusting scientists. Is just gonna save them? Have they not seen a video game or a horror movie or anything? Gosh. So, how did the PlayStation 2 version of this game play? 
I mean, not the PlayStation 2, the Xbox version. I know it was a bit rough with the, uh... It's always a bit rough to play first person shooter on console. Oh, music. I haven't heard music in a while. Oh, yeah, the big agent. I remember that now. I'll save you, scientist. That, my friend, is you how you have a very short conversation with that, of course. Double barrel action. Honestly, I've tried swinging a crowbar this fast. It's really hard to do even when you're not hitting something, so. Like, apparently, you give Gordon Freeman a crowbar and a target, he begins Bruce fucking Lee. Alright, so fully charged. Oh, looks like I'm full. M14, M16 rounds. Scientist shot to death for no apparent reason. Bing! Let's do this. So I get the nade between the two of them. Okay, cool. Let's go back and heal. So, big uh, twisted bunny, got a question for you. How did you find the uh, my stream? Just out of curiosity, I'd like to know. Are you just a big half Half Life fan? You, you put a flag so anytime the Half Life stream came up, you'd see it. Or how'd you find me? Always curious what what I could do to better to improve the stream. Oh, yeah. oh, he's freaking out over. It's just a shotgun. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt. Damn it. Come down, Mr. Science Man. The Reaper does not come for you. Half-Life 2, and so mine came up. That seems weird. Not that I'm going to ever complain about a new follower or how you found me, but I'm just curious. I've always been curious how the algorithm works.
So what games do you like to watch, Twisted? When you're browsing on the Twitch. Shit, he finished shit. Quite interesting. Most of the creatures in this game have criminal. Classic retro games. I, you know, I'm trying to do every Sunday retro games. I used to have retro Sundays. It's gotten a little bit more difficult um, lately because my I have a new job. My schedule's kind of wonky, so I'm trying to do every Sunday. Um, I've been, I was playing Perfect Dark most recently, but, uh, that game was kicking my ass, so, until I get another TV for my stream room, it's an issue, so it's like a computer monitor, I'm going to, uh, be doing computer games until then, after I do the Half-Life series. Fucking bullets do you need to take? I'm planning on uh, maybe doing Alien vs. Predator if you ever played it for computer. There we go. That was a decent one. Yep. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Got him now, punk bitch. Get wrecked. What's your uh, favorite retro console? And if you want, there's a poll down below on the, uh, my actual cards um, about uh, a poll to see what Netflix or Sunday game I play for GameCube. If you want, you can always uh, throw in a vote on there. I don't know if you can vote on it in a while. A while, my wife and I got a house, so I had to set everything up properly before we could even attempt to do it. I could even attempt to do anything. World's slowest elevator with a loading screen. Always terrifying. I don't 
think I have anything that can take out a helicopter. Actually, it's not a, a helicopter, it's a harpoon. So I'm going to go run and hide down here. Because I am not picking a fight with an aircraft without a rocket launcher. Alright, let's recharge. Oh, I don't know if you guys know this. There's currently um, a group of fans that has been creating a... Um, uh, completely rebuilding the Black Mesa, uh, Half-Life from the ground up, calling it Black Mesa. Um, I know they're currently selling it on Steam. I'm not entirely sure when its release date is, but they have finished... shooting him dissuaded him, but in my head it did. Chase them off with nothing but an M16 and the size of my bow. Reminds me very much of Alien vs. Predator 2 for the uh, computer. You had a light on your gun you turn on. So God, it always sucks when the people you murder don't fight back. I'll tell you. see them and they kill me. That's rude. Very, very rude indeed. But, what else? What else? What else? Oops, I didn't even hit the console, but oh, whoa, really? This far back. Should done just needed the shit out of the vent.
Oh, thank God, health. Not a lot of health, but it's there. supposed to actually hurt me. It's not fair I can't open them, but you can fucking shoot at me like a goddamn Pikachu. I didn't think I'd survive that assault. I thought my lucky just went a bullet through the killer. where the hell that uh, fan was. Me, there's a way to disable the fan so I can go further. Alright, so if I can dump an entire mag into it, it, it I can't shoot it. So you just crawl under it. Okay, shotgun out first. Why the shoddy? Most games it doesn't require a whole lot of aiming. You pull the trigger and it dies. Here's for hoping we get away with it this time. Alright, 
Alright, that went well. Let me see if... I have that down here I did check out. Keep an eye out. Top one, not the bottom one. Damn it. Hug the wall, hug the wall. Yeah, we're through with the vent. Well, in the vent, at least. I don't know what part of the facility I'm over the top of. So you can find out, maybe? Nope. Can't open that one. Can't open that one. Alright, so we're gonna do this. My health up? Oh, that's dead. Okay. Silo access! Yay! Come, scientist friend! Let us journey! To glorious things! Oh, to the blast pit! That sounds good. No, we're gonna have fun. This is how we're gonna open it up, right, guys? We're just gonna. Fire the hole! Run, scientist, run! out of the room and come back it reloads it all all right we did hard there you go I refuse to go another step I don't blame the scientists for not wanting to go there yeah. there we go got him he dead I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, hello. That was fucking close. Fuck you. Yeah, crap. Excuse me, sir. I'm doing things. Oh, shit. I should probably stick with the M16 for long range. QQ. Stay there, I don't need you. I don't watch you, man. You smell bad shit. Oh! I expected this to go laterally, not straight down. Scare the crap out of myself. Oh, these little guys are bad. Speaker dogs, as I refer to them. I don't usually get that much health in an area. Gotta go fast! Ooh. I love that popping sound they made.
it's this healthy environment to generate conflicting of a Geiger counter. I'm gonna avoid it like it's hot, as in radioactive hot. Shit! Oh, I slid, damn it. The one thing that sucks about this game is your max speed is gotta go fast. Most games you have to have press a button to run faster. This game you just have to you have to hit a button to run slower. Shit. Really loading screen. I like how so quick the loading screens are in this game. Like especially when you think about how much distance you're getting, um how much gameplay you're getting, like Apparently they're not affected by radiation. Also rude. If I get irradiated, you should too. Of course, in my luck, they would just mutate into something bigger, uglier, and meaner. Keyboard, my, my mouse pad's slipping a bit. Actually, I need to get one of those little pads for your wrists. Ow! Ow, medic! Ow, medic! Because, for honestly, my desk that I purchased is not the, uh, does not have the roundest of edges. Although, it did come with a uh, power strip built into it, uh, Cat 5 connector, so I'm wondering, probably should call Best Buy and ask if that call its lag effects, because when I do get a PlayStation, f when I do get a TV for, uh, streaming in here, I wish to use it for, uh, 4K gaming, including, I would like to do stuff like Apex, but I would need to have a lag-free connection. Okay, so that's dead. That's not alive. But hey, it's, it's not alive, that means it's good. Not alive is as good as not as good as Of course, it's a pipe. I have no maneuvering. What? So whatever. Fucking shit. Fuck. Alright, so we're getting close to the boss. close to a, like a boss type monster. Um, I thought I would do this run faster than I did it last week, but apparently it's about the same speed. Ow! I pumped half a mag in you. You should have been dead. friend
Disrespect was the greatest thing. Not getting a tongue by one of those fuckers. You let someone else die so you can sneak past. Rude? Yes. Hardcore? Yes. Do I feel bad? No. Got it. Get in through the door. Murder the door. Okay, I murdered the door before it murdered me, so. charge up the rocket above the uh, tentacle beast. how short these loading screens are. I don't know if it's just because I'm using a computer or what. You motherfuckers are dead. Um, let's go. 
go ahead. Open this up. Now here's the most dangerous part about old school games. Climbing the fucking ladder. Some games you press crouch and you go down just fine. Other games you... And then of course you press jump to go up the ladder. Other games make you look down and climb it. That's kind of a pain in the dick to get off of it. This is the latter two of the games. Okay, so we got a shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna double blast anything that tries to fuck with me. We're gonna go left. Why? I don't know. I'd ask you guys, but you guys are strangely quiet, so. And of course, chat, feel please feel free to say hi. I do like to talk to people, other than just trying to keep up my monologue. Uh, I'm gonna ramble. It's a lot less fun. Boom, check it like Okay, so. Four hand grenades I picked up. Shit! Okay, so it looks like one shell would be enough to actually kill them. I don't need a double barrel their face. Granted, double barrel in the face is a little bit more uh, satisfying than just one shot. But hey, one shot's better for the conservation of ammunition, so that's what we're going to do. Be very, very careful. That was almost really awkward. I almost fucking fell to my death. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 I can, I can survive the water. We're good. It's not murder water. We'll live. Alright, so left apparently was the right way to go. Whoops. Oh, well, you love any learn. Oh, it tagged me in a post on Facebook. Okay, we're gonna very carefully walk here. Very carefully indeed. Alright. So we're gonna... Apparently I can't really fight that creature up close and personal. I got that like... Puzzle. Lit up his fucking face. Although I need to conserve more rifle ammunition because uh, I've not been getting nearly as much as I prefer. But bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, guys, this. I'm gonna be faster. And bam, I, I live. Oh, that's fun. It kind of drifts when I jump. That's fun. Probably not great, but hey. Whee! Good resist. Had to jump. So much fun. Oh. Loading. shift button to walk not to run to walk um so just to give you guys a heads up with the stream i'm probably going to start doing um i already told i won't be doing my uh, consoles for a while because i only have the one tv in the computer room so i'll get another one we're just kind of holding pattern on that but i will be playing more computer games stuff like apex legends and things like that um 
one game I wish that streaming had been around when I was able to play a lot would, would have been um, Alien vs. Predator 2. That was a game I loved as a, when I was younger. I would have loved to stream and get people into. But I don't think... Streaming wasn't around back then, so... Although I am totally thinking about doing a, a run-through of it on stream eventually. For retro days and stuff. But not quite yet. I felt like playing Half-Life, so I did. There's the tentacle beast again. So I don't usually, like, save this game. Usually I just go with, uh... Quick saves, but... I don't see! Oh, we got it. Alright, got it on the first try. There we go. Oh, my fucking shit. Oh, fuck you, game. Fuck. Fuck that shit. That was rude. Alright, fine. Let's fucking go back to my running perfect jump. No survivors, motherfucker. Alright. Oh, these guys. These are guys. scale of this gun in my hand though always feels kind of off. Like it's bigger than it's supposed to be. We we're gonna slide across the water. As much I would have loved to bait one of those critters that into one of those oh, critters on the ceiling. It never seems to happen. Never seem to get anything dumb enough to walk up in there. Okay, I turn on the lights. Oh, elevator! Cool. Haven't seen a working elevator in a while. Usually they break down. People drop each other to death and such. Always exciting. No, I do wish there was some more background music in this game, though. Just saying. Seems like. Oh, man, it's going one of those things where I fall on my death, isn't it? Ah! Making me nervous, game. No, 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 no. I missed it. Uh. To give you a heads up, view, there is this cool thing on Amazon Prime. It's a cool thing. I'm gonna play it real quick. It's called Amazon, or called Twitch Prime. What is Twitch Prime, you ask? Good question, I say. Twitch Prime is a free service from Amazon Prime. You just log in, you just sign your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account, assuming you have one. And they give you one free sub for one channel every 30 days. It's free, it's easy, it takes but a moment of your time. And you can use it to support me or another channel like me. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. Why are you leaving me here? And it uh, definitely will help me out. Ouch. Because I do seek, hope one day to be able to make a little bit of money at this. You know, I'm not gonna fuck 
that thing. This is my hiding spot, and I'm not leaving until the situation is fixed or improved. Now go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. My friend, you are not going to want to be up here much longer. Because I don't think he's going to want to be a commercial owner. Who knows? He might, he might, he might sort of... Oh, no, oh, ow. Oh, dear! I got the fuck myself. Yeah, I might as well go swimming. Did too much damage to myself just trying to get off there. I should have gotten off there when I had the chance. Curiosity killed the simo. Shit! Oh, there's a little bastard in the water! Spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around. I'm gone. Uh, I'm gone. <laughs> Shoot! Feeling the scientist is not gonna have a very good day. It came between me. Life. It's not a good place to be, to be honest. Because I am the hero. I do what I must to survive. Jump the thing. Let's go over the radiation. Excellent. Someone has restored all power. You'll have the engine up again in no time. The this should make me feel better. Yay, help me! Help me! Uh, wait. Let's go. I'm slowing you down. Can you climb a ladder? Well, you can take a man who can climb a ladder. Be very, very careful. So let's be very, very careful by do like a full-on, full-speed sprint to try to get through the hole. Alright, so if you are catching this on my YouTube channel, I hope you're enjoying the view the, the show, of course. But, uh... Feel free to hit the subscribe button with me. Or if you're watching on Twitch feeds, feel free to hit the follow button. I would, uh, always have, nice to have another person join the Simu Squad. As I call it. Oh, of course it did damage to me. Because of course. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How you doing tonight, friend? I'm just sitting here. actually playing the retro game the old-fashioned way and I don't think that there's an option to change the video here uh, oh look I can actually oh shit what did I just do did I just break my fucking oh. Oh. I don't know if I can set the widescreen though is there a widescreen an option huh what the shit 
I didn't actually know that the plastic half-life could do that. Oh, that, that... Holy shit, you ain't kidding. Well, that's a fucking, 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 fuck, fuck. God, I actually haven't played the computer version of this in a long time, so I didn't even know the full screen on the oh, Nolas, are you a follower of mine? I think you've been a follower of mine for a while. It's been a while since I've streamed, so uh, I don't know where all my follower is. Ah. I'm gonna drown myself. Yeah, thanks for the tip, dude. There we go. Hey, Noah's. Welcome to the stream, man. I guess you're a follower after all. <laughs> thanks for joining. Say the field of view thing. You know, I'm just gonna go through how it seems now. It just seems kind of. Let's see. Yeah, that was looking too much worse. Ah, I made the jump. So, Nola, how'd you find my, uh, Nolas? Oh, there's a Z in there. How'd you find the stream, friend? Let me know. Let me know what I can do to get more attention. <laughs> I'm the only for cool person cool enough on Twitch to play Half-Life. Why, thank you, sir. Part of my retro series. I'm trying to play some older games periodically. Bring some fun back to the world. Because, you know, no one plays retro games. Okay, I got it to fuck off. Um, it, this is not my first playthrough ever, but this is my first playthrough in like 10 years at least. So, uh, not the first, but it's damn close. Like, I'm trying to figure out why the fuel lines aren't working. Probably because I had to restore power first. Health! Yay! Health! I live! I, um, will be playing the, uh, for Blue Shift and all the other, the other expansions, too. I can't remember all the names, but there's, like, the Blue sh I remember Blue Shift, because you're the, uh, security guy. And I know there's an expansion where you play as one of the evil bastards. But, uh, that'll probably be a bit, because I, I remember this game's not entirely short. Opposing Force... Blue force. I don't know if I have decay. Um, here, let me go look. Because it would be in my Steam library, I think. So let's go look at my library. Posing forces first. Okay, let me I gotta screenshot that, because I didn't know there was a specific order. So let me see. Half-Life, Blue Shift, the Posing Force. I don't have decay, it looks like. Huh. 
Come here, come here. Look. No, we're just gonna. I'm gonna check. I have to, I'll have to check that out later, actually. Did not know that was a thing. Oops. Okay, there we go. There's that. So, I'm trying to remember how do I reactivate the power and all the other crap in here. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game, so. Oh, it's gonna look really weird in YouTube, though, the sudden change in aspect ratio. Using OBS, I uh, record my videos now instead of just uh, cross uploading them, so. Hopefully, I'll cut out the five minute intro. What? You're down here. God, I didn't. Okay, we're gonna have to reload because that was that was fucking terrible. Like I didn't know there's a monster down here, and I just got fucking wrecked. All right. Oh man, that fucking sucked. I go all the way back to here. At least I can do the gaps or something. Alright, so now what? You know, I just the, the one thing that sucks about the Half-Life series is uh Steam. I mean Valve. on the PS2 port. It's a co-op campaign approach. Huh. I'll have to look into that because uh, I don't really have I don't really know of anyone who would play it with me. Um, when it was ported to PC, did they enable a single player mode? Or not? What's it about? Like, is it about specific characters? Oh, man, you're a by switching the two characters with the key or over land with a friend or join a server. I'll have to look into it. Honestly, I didn't realize there was a PS2 port of this game. I, I played Half-Life 2, the PC port, but I never played the actual, uh, online version. I mean, the, uh, Half-Life 1 version. What is Decay actually about, like, hint-wise? I live, I heal! Alright. You play as two female researchers who run to the test chamber of Sector C. The ones who took the other two HEV suits and the ones who delivered the samples up to Gordon. You know, that that sounds like it'd be fun. Cause... Are you guys still dead? You're still dead. No, oh, I always hate when you miss the ladder on the game. You're like, oh, I don't want to die! All the way down. Then you catch the ladder, you're like, oh god, so this is what an action movie feels like. It's terrible. 
course, so far this is the only fucking weapon that chases off the tentacle beast, so. Is there a technical term for that monster? I feel like tentacle beast is giving it far too much credit. Bull squid. That's not the worst name I've ever heard for a monster. Okay, so that's been turned on. I'm wondering if I forgot to press something down there? Or if I throw a nade at it? What'll happen? Whee! Where'd the nade go? Interesting indeed. I just gotta say, Gordon Freeman's got one fuck all of an arm. jump if I thought it would help. I need to go down there to see if I missed anything, but I think there's only one button. The on button. And judging by the look of that fan, I cannot go back down there and press it. Honestly, that's a terrible design to put a button underneath the fan. You know, where you're going to die if you press it. Did I fuck myself blowing that? Whoa! Hello! Ha 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 ha! Alright, that's fun. That I liked. I appreciated that. Alright, where are you, little bastard? Hey, thanks for the tip, man. Although I thought you were fucking with me. But hey. That was the coolest fucking thing that's happened in this game so far. Shit like that makes you realize why this game was such a big deal when it came out. Like, I missed the hype train. I was not really into computer gaming then. But like... Shit like that was definitely... Oh, I'm on, I'm on a ship. Bam! There we go. Now the bull squid's gonna get his shit. He's gonna get roasted. Luckily, this is slightly further up the tube than the other one. Oh, and usually when someone says, uh, try taking a leak of the face, winky, smile, I'm like, ah, oh, man, you're trying to get me to kill myself. I'm sorry, I played too much Jar Souls. Try leaving here. Easier way of doing that that makes more sense for your inventory. I'm just throwing a fucking hand grenade at it, but hand grenades work. I don't have to argue with something that works. Bye oh, bye, bitch. Bye bye, fucker.
guess it makes sense it hurt me getting too close to the broken one, but still. Alright, that was fun. You don't play Decay like a linear story, it's more like segment missions where NBCs make you hold against waves or explore an office together, etc. But it falls around the same time as Gordon's time in BM. Black Mesa, for all those who don't know what BM means, it doesn't mean black bowel movement, but it falls around. But I'll. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? Thing's dead. I probably have to go down to this hole. Have you heard about the mod for uh, the Black Mesa mod? Where they're rebuilding the game? Oh, that's fucking rude. It's, well, I know it's not a mod anymore. Um, it's a full game. I'm thinking about trying to acquire it once it comes out. Oh, what? What? Did I seriously bounce off a ledge? Of course it auto-saved me right here. 11 health. Yes. Is this my number four slot weapon? No. Ooh, more bullets. Now, the revolver is a weapon I remember well. They bought a source ice and put it up as a game on Steam. Yeah, they just finished Zen from what I heard. I haven't played it in a while. I haven't played Half-Life in so long, so I thought I'd go back and play it again before I thought about shelling out money for a full game. I swear to the gods, if I end up around here, I'm so mad. Oh, that's where the radiation comes from. Then it's in public beta, full releasing coming to December. Fantastic. I'm I'm impressed, you know. I've always been impressed with people who can build something like that, like, oh, I almost died. Myself, I was trying to do a uh, Half-Life 2 um, campaign, but custom voice acting and stuff and some models but the people I try to help me create the model get to help me try to create the models never actually got around to getting a hold of me so I was unable to test it out now you see I look at this part I'm just like this is not gonna end well for me oh no it's the back of the ladder so let me guess uh no, as you, you probably have yourself a copy of that Black Mesa game. You know, I miss the days when Valve actually made games. Like, Portal 3 could have been fun. Half-Life 2 Episode 3 would have brought the Portal, um, the Aperture Science into the game officially, not just the picture on a monitor. That would have been really cool. But Valve, as always, is just disappointment. Like, honestly, like, it's a terrible person. Black Mace is one of my favorite shoes of all time. Oh, it's that good? Do they, like, right next to Dusk and Titanfall 2? I haven't played Dusk or Titanfall 2. I have... I mean, one of my favorite shooters of all time is uh, Alien vs. Predator 2, if you're familiar with it. But, uh, I, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, I just hold it. Yeah, hold it. Thanks for the tip, my friend. Once more through the breach. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I really wish Val would just get together, just make just one extra sequel, dude. Of course, the guy who was integral. Whoa, no, if I can just, oh, the guy who was integral in helping craft Half Life storyline. Um, he's left Valve entirely, so. That tells me that's not going to happen, ever. 
Halo 3 will be made just not by Valve, you know. I can very much see um, the guys who did Black Mesa, like, I can see Valve letting them do the sequel. Oh my god, no, that's not what I want to do. Can I just take that back? No, I can't. Boreal Elf and Aurora Project Borealis are things I've not heard of. Although I'm gonna blow myself up really quick, because that was fucking terrible. I took down my own mind and then killed myself with it. That's just terrible. I have not heard of Epistyle 3. Now, those laser trip mines sound like they fun. Not sure how easy they'll be to utilize. I always hate when the game gives you something really cool like laser trip mines and then makes it really hard to bait enemies into it. Duke Nukem was a game that had a lot of, you could get a lot of laser trip mines, but it was really hard to get them to be employed in any meaningful way. It took quite a bit of effort to set them up. And even then, sometimes you took more damage than you really wanted to, just trying to bait people into them. Power up! Finally, I got a new thing. What the fuck is that? when people get online, on and offline. I don't know if that translates to the stream or not. Oh, we got to disable those on on stream then. Alright. No, oh, a fuck. Um, so, when Laidlaw left Valve, he wrote a post on his personal blog, blog of Epistyle 3. Basically, it's a fan fiction which contained plots and aperitures for Half-Life 2, Episode 3, with gender swap characters. Oh yeah, so what you're saying is that someone's going, ow, oh, fucking shit, someone's going to make that game. Makes sense to me. How far back am I going? Much further back than I would prefer. Give me those bullets. Give me those yummy bullets. No, 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 go on it, go on it, go on it. Come on, you bunch of bastards. See, this is what I'm talking about. This crap right here. Oh no. Oh. That was so close, I'm 95% sure that blast charged my phone. Because that, that sounds like 
hilarious. Especially depending on how much you change. There may be no legal recourse for Valve to shut him up. Have you read the thing, or did you just are you just familiar with its existence? Project Borealis has completely recreated the Source Engine's quirks in Unreal Engine 4. They're making a game where they recreate Epic Style 3. Okay, see, that's fucking cool. I've read it. Is it good? Is it worthy of the Half-Life name? Or is it one of those things like, it was a nice idea, but it really sucked. Oh, hey! Fuck you. I don't know what's exploding. Probably that tank looking motherfucker. That's rude. That right there is rude. See, that's the kind of shit that pisses me off in a game. It's confusing at first I had to drop it into a word doc and swap the names and genders back because I'm slow like that. Actually, you know what? That's not you being slow. That's me being slow. That's slow right there. No, what it is is it's difficult for somebody to get through all that because you have to basically reprogram your brain. But hey, I would do the same thing. That sounds like the best way to read it, in my opinion. Hazardous waste. No, you do. You should have. Ow! 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 ow. Ooh. You see what I picked up there? What the hell? You see what he, what he, what he did? What I got there? These guys are gonna find out what I got there. Shaw. Boom. Target. Oh man, really? Basically, they turn the Borealis into an interdimensional spaceship and use the Kamikaze to combine, com, combine homeworld. But they realize the Combine are far larger than what we comprehend. G-Man takes Alex, Breen is dead, and cut the black for enough cliffhanger leading into Half-Life 3. Is he going to release a Half-Life 3 or not? Because that's what I want to know. Like, I would like Half-Life 3. My thing is, I think Valve stopped making games because they stopped wanting to put effort into actually, like, trying to make sure that fans were happy. So they realized it, de it takes no money to sell someone else's game. Or next to no money. So they probably just got a bunch of servers together to set up, to set up the store. And then just start charging people to put their games on the store, and then t and then probably also taking a cut of the profits, or just probably just take a cut of the profits, and that's why. And then you can make a lot of money with that with no effort. Boral Alf knows every H Half Life fan read episode episode three, so they're going a different route by trying to make a Half Life three with his own story. I think they should just use Epic Style three. That should wreck his fucking day. Ow. Well, I have the opinion that, like, 
I don't know. I just... I will never forget... I don't think I'll ever really forget Valve for, like, screwing the players like he has. Like, there's no other term for it. He's completely screwing with the players. Because why else... Epi style three Boreal Alpha's coming, continuing from style three. Oh, okay. So they're gonna try to stay true to the source material while you know for everything else. Makes sense to me. It's just kind of not. I don't know. I, I kind of bothers me because like a lot of fans put a lot of like. Like, it just, it just seems rude that you would end a series on a cliffhanger ending, one that everybody wants, and then just ignore the fans for, what, fucking 10 years now, 10, 12 years? Face off. Let's face up. Not let us face off. Let us face off is not a, a, a vernacular phrase anywhere in the world, I don't think. Alright, give me the health. Give me that spicy health ball. Alright, shit. Okay, I'm out of. Uh, I'm out of. Why would you throw a hand grenade at me from like three feet away? Oh, really? In a fucking head trap. Okay, I did not miss that fucking head trap. Throwing a hand grenade in there was not the best idea. Hey, look, I'm at 90 followers. That's cool. Wait. Sarge, come back here. I think he just like dropped a hand grenade at me. Whew, that was a stressful little firefight, wasn't it? That was not it's not my, my idea of a good time. I mean it was fun. Man, 
I totally had fun. Break up the boxes. Oh, that's sorry. I was looking at the chat. That's just Booba Bot doing doing the, the advertising. As you see, well, I mean, as nobody. I need. Oh shit. That was not at all what I wanted to do. Oh my god, I took so much fucking damage. things called did I just call them speaker dogs because they're facing the speakers they're kind of punks honestly they're on own I shoot them you started this fight sir you fucking finish it Wait, he's already the shotgun at point blank range? I'm also waiting for a Left 4 Dead 3. Portal 3. Anything with a 3 at this point, because I don't get Valve and their fear of 3s. Like, episode 2, I mean, fucking Half Life 2, episode 3, it had a 3 and they stopped doing it. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think. You think they're afraid of 3s? Yeah, I can't. 
can't jump over that. I'd be really tired of just the one head crab at a time crap. Drop a whole bunch of head crabs. I don't care. I'll kill them all. Just stop nickel and diamond. Me. the uh a company is making hev chargers for your cell phone uh, like it's a cell phone charger i like them they look pretty cool seems like strangely expensive but cool expensive pointless but cool nonetheless No tunnel. <laughs> Gotta get down to the powder power generator. Oh, so the powder generator. That's, just, that's makes sense. Doom de doom de doom doom de doom de doom. Maintenance area. Let's go to the maintenance area. Actually, I probably fixed that because that pump probably not just there to keep the area dry. Oh, dude! I didn't get electrocuted to death. Yay! Alright, so I didn't get electrocuted to death. Which means there's probably something up here now. Marley fucking grunts. Probably upstairs. You know what? should do it, I think. Oh, fucking course. I think I got pinched. I think I got pinched on the roof. Are you still watching? feels quite as satisfying as being to death a monster with a crowbar. I don't know why. I think it's just fun to smack shit with a crowbar. You know, classic Gordon Freeman. Really? I accidentally walked backwards up the stairs? That's, I'm talented. I managed to accidentally walk backwards up the stairs. Alright, I made it through. Wait a minute. Right hand turn. I have two nades left. I'm gonna go exploding. Thank you. 
getting a medic. I leave no survivors. I am the one free man. I leave no survivors. Or maybe a couple. I don't know. I forgot where the fuck I'd win. The concept of the crouch jump took a while to understand. I still, like, in my head, it looks ridiculous. Alright, looks like I'm getting back up to the bipedal mech. Sense to have something like that. Especially when shit goes sideways because you got a rampaging monster upstairs. You know, looking at the lore of Half Life, I do feel really bad for the Gorgonauts. They were enslaved and forced to attack other people to try and enslave them too. And the Gorgonauts are a peaceful race. Oh my god, the door almost killed me. The fucking door opening almost killed me. Oh my fucking god, I have 32 health because of a fucking door. Fuck it. We're gonna go back and reload a little bit. This is much... Rather than being stuck with like 32 health because of a fucking door. Oh well, who knows? Stay away from the zappy box. Go through the zappy boxes. We're gonna have to fight a few more soldier bastards. Actually, one looked like a lieutenant, and then a grunt I lost track of, but. I don't know though, I, I'm thinking. What the fuck? I don't want to save that. Oh, fuck. Oh, I guess I did have to quick save it. Damn it! Stupid fucking head crabs. Okay. Like, at first, the head crabs are like, oh god, what is that? And then after a while, you're just like, fucking trash enemies. Fuck with somebody who sucks worse than you. Oh wait, there isn't one. Except for the scientists. The scientists had a problem with it. Well, that's because they only had two voice, the one voice actor that did all the scientists. 
and I had to try to hide his voice three separate times. I don't think it worked very well. But hey, it's probably an indie game they didn't actually anticipate would work as well as it did. Actually, funny trivia I, I read the other day is the uh, creators of Val played Goldeneye 007 and completely overhauled this game because of what they saw. I just kill them both. murdered by a door. It's embarrassing. Nope, I'm just gonna step off a ledge. Okay, come on, slow down game, jeez. No, it's bad when I can't even hit the fucking ladder, right? We're in a save game. See it right here. Got him. Nothing says fuck you like double barrel action, am I right? I'm right. Never gonna make it. You better go on without me. Yay! Charging. Okay, so we're gonna save here as well because you know what? I don't wanna do that shit again. ammo in just 36 rounds. Too big to get in here, it looks like. That's good. Good to know. Supposed to 
deal with that. Like, seriously. What the hell? Okay, he killed himself. Always a nice development. So I'm going to try to fight it through the window, and then I'm probably going to call it that. We're going to... Not sure what the hell that was supposed to do, but it didn't help him. Five hand grenades is what it'll take. Flame guy did to me, so we're not gonna worry about that. Yeah, a little bit more careful with my health pull. And actually, I'm, I'm probably getting to the end of my battery over here too. Faster than this thing. 
Check it, 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 Freeman, I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Alright, thanks friend. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing with myself. Not sure where this is going now that it's underwater. Oh, that didn't hurt like I thought it would. That was weird. No damage. Good. Doing good so far. All right. So it's just a little loot in parts now. just killed I was and uh focus on the one I was killing. That didn't sound that didn't sound It's kind of adorable when it dies. What? Oh, a satchel charge. Okay, so we're gonna go play until the next death. That's what I'm gonna call it a night. I think that seems like a pretty good place to stop. Where the hell am I supposed to? God, I forgot how much damage those fuckers do. Fighter 
Although I think some of these switches, I shoot them and they turn me. Which may be what I need to do. But we'll see. that tells me ladies and gentlemen that I think it's about time that the stream starts ending so we're gonna come down back here to the main menu and I want to thank you guys for hanging with me tonight the uh, special shout out to no Laz 110 for and twisted bunny for the new follows um, I'm glad this night went better than the other one did a lot better than the other one did, which is great. Um, so, I'm probably going to try to play this next Sunday. That's also coincidentally my next day off. Yes, I have a six-day stretch at my job. It sucks ass. But, it's no big deal. So, if you're catching this on repeat, because I'm going to start doing my Retro, uh, retro Sunday uh, rerun on Saturday so people can be caught up if they want, go ahead and hit that follow button right there for me. That just says, hey, I'd like to see your games. It's always nice to have more followers. Also, as I said earlier, Twitch Prime is a free thing if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber. You just got to attach your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account. And then you get one free sub every 30 days to any channel you would like. If you want, you can give that sub to me, help my channel out, or you can choose another favorite channel of yours to help out. Every little bit helps. Um, if you're on YouTube, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you know when I go live again. Um, I don't go live, so when I post a, uh, on YouTube. Currently, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a... Uh, I'm going to be doing changing things as we go, too. So, eventually, someday, it'll look completely different. But, uh, you guys, have a good night. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.